The clinical trials process is a complex one. It requires substantial investment, skilled human resources, and it involves risks, such as the navigation of complex regulatory processes. In order to overcome these challenges, small biotechnology companies usually outsource their early phase clinical studies to contract research organizations, or CROs. The Asia-Pacific region is quickly becoming an attractive market for clinical trials. In 2015, over 50% of global clinical trials had sites in Asia-Pacific. Sponsors are attracted to the region due to the large number of patients, many of which are treatment naive. Asia-Pacific also offers a pool of about 4 billion people, with more than 1.8 billion in easily accessible urban areas. Each year, more than 1,000 research projects are conducted in Australia by pharmaceutical, medical device, and biotechnology companies, which are spending more than 1 billion in U.S. dollars on clinical trials. In the last five years, the number of phase one and two clinical trials started in a year have increased at a rate higher than that of overall trial numbers. The three key reasons biotech companies consider Australia as a top choice to conduct early stage clinical trials are regulatory speed and flexibility, clinical trial quality, and cost efficiency. The Australian clinical trial process allows flexibility without compromising on quality. It also avoids duplication of processes, saving the sponsors both time and money. Scientific research conducted in Australia also ranks the highest in Asia Pacific in terms of productivity and impact, as well as it has one of the most rigorous patient protection systems in the world. Data from studies conducted in Australia can be used to support international regulatory applications, including the US FDA and EMEA. According to a cost comparison study, Australia is 28% cheaper than the U.S. before tax incentives and 60% cheaper after tax incentives. Some key factors to consider when selecting a CRO are experience, expertise in specific therapeutic areas and trial phases, proven track record of trials with biotech and international companies, and a thorough understanding of regulatory audits. Capability. The CRO should have a capable in-house team with strong project management therapeutic area expertise. The CRO should also be client-centric and flexible. An in-depth understanding of regulatory requirements in the biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, and devices space is another attribute to look out for. The CRO should also offer scalability of IT systems and sophisticated quality systems. Network. CROs should have international presence and networks, and relationships with the lead investigators, key opinion leaders, and institutions. Cost competitiveness. A key consideration for sponsors when choosing between CROs that are similar in quality and capability. There are multiple CRO options to choose from in Asia, including multinational CROs such as Quintiles, the global leading CRO, and local CROs such as Novotech, Australia's largest. With a strong research environment, Australia is a vibrant, world-recognized destination for early phase clinical trials. The region has positioned itself as a leader across the key dimensions of speed, quality, and cost. With a fast and flexible clinical trial approval process, internationally recognized trials, highly regarded investigators, and attractive incentives, Australia is becoming the preferred destination for early phase clinical trials.